So, you know, microwave. Uh, microwave is nothing new. It's been around 50 years. Uh, it's a licensed private uh, connection. Um, typically, it's uh, fixed points, rooftop to rooftop, or a, a mobile uh, production truck, um, 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 a mobile uh, uh, ENG, electronic news gathering truck. Uh, typically, there might be antenna arrays uh, on a tall building in the metropolitan area for uh, the trucks to beam their signal to. So you're out in a remote location. Uh, it could be your transmitter tower. It could be a, long, a tall building in your metropolitan area. So uh, units are moving around the metro area and beaming to a central point or just uh, portable type links. Um, you know, typically, you know, they can be one-way, two-way. Uh, a, a typical microwave application is STL, as we call it, or studio to transmitter links. Uh, typically, these are uh, use parabolic high-gain antennas, like in the picture here, and uh, they require line, LOS uh, or a line of sight, as we call it, LOS. Uh, within the central uh, uh, antenna array uh, approach, a lot of broadcasters take this approach. Um, if they want coverage in certain areas, you know, say they they go to City Hall a lot and they need to be, get a signal out of there, but they don't have line of sight, they might do multiple hops around the metro area. But this can be expensive, so the local broadcaster has to build infrastructure where all where all of his trucks are going to be, where where they anticipate news events to to occur. Um, um, you know, so you need a tall building, you need a tower, you need a uh, local mountain to, to, to beam these signals to and from. Um, you know, so you'll have multiple antennas around the, the metro area. Uh, there's other techniques with movable antennas. You know, you could use a helicopter as a repeater. You, you send the signal up to the helicopter and uh, 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 beam the signal back down that way. 